Ooh, right guys, today I'm bringing you a legendary item guide of Borderlands 3, and in this video we'll be looking at the Dahl pistol known as the Hornet. The red text on the weapon reads, Fear the Swarm. And what's special about this weapon is for a Dahl pistol, it has splash damage. So when you fire the weapon, when the bullets that are fired collide with a surface or an enemy, they'll explode and they'll be able to deal damage to things in close proximity. So this effectively means if you have multiple enemies bunched together, you'll be able to deal damage to all of them, opposed to just the one. To get this weapon, we'll be farming the legendary hunt known as Chupaca Brat. She could be found on Athenus. Thanks to the new update, it's fairly easy to find your way to the spawn point we'll be using in order to farm Chupaca Bratch because they've recently added an ammo dump machine next to it. So all you have to do is on the map, make your way to this ammo dump here and here you'll hit a spawn point and this is the spawn point we'll be using and then from here all you have to do is walk towards the graveyard but go left instead of right as you go up the stairs and then there's a little ledge that you could jump up and here is where Chewbacca Bratch spawns. Chewbacca Bratch now has multiple drops thanks to new update just bear that in mind when you're farming. The Hornet is actually a returning weapon from Borderlands 2. It was also dull and legendary in Borderlands 2. In Borderlands 3 it's basically identical to as it was in Borderlands 2 and you may notice if you get multiple of these to drop that this gun will only come in corrosive element. Because of this, it can be quite awkward to use this against general enemies. So if you're just running through and you want to use this against any enemy type, it can be quite difficult to get that effective damage against everyone. And this is what I found when I was going through Carnivora. Most of the turrets that the Tink would spawn, I'd be able to mount through very quickly, but all the enemies, especially on Mayhem 3, it was taking quite a few bursts and clips in order to actually kill them. And especially getting to the badasses, the badasses took forever. They have so much health and the damage that you can do with the Hornet is, is quite low and the damage over time again is quite low so you can't really burn through the badasses fairly quickly. With it being a dial it has two firing modes but both of these are burst fire and both of them are six round bursts. All it changes is the zoom on the scope. With it being a six round burst you'll probably only be able to pull the trigger three or four times before you have to reload. When you're using this gun you may find yourself reloading more than you're actually firing the weapon which especially for guns in Mayhem 3 when I'm trying to output as much damage as possible it can get quite frustrating. But that being said the fire rate is still pretty high so you are able to quickly deplete your magazine in order to get that damage out in between reloads. But then you can see that as a downside that you are going through loads of ammo in order to get very minuscule damage. And that is something I definitely found when going through Carnivora is I had to refill my ammo a couple times in order to keep me going. When using this weapon, the only time I was able to ever get any sort of effective damage out of it is when I was using Fadeaway, which is unfortunate because obviously that's character binding. Only Flak can use Fadeaway. So I was getting loads of damage very quickly and I was able to kill normal enemies in one clip but it's unfortunate it's fun to have weapons in this game that can do well without any sort of boost that's needed in order to make it effective but the hornet is just one of those mediocre weapons if used against the right health type so if you're using it against armored enemies then this gun can really shine it can burn through enemies really quickly but for anything else you'll find yourself shooting and shooting and shooting in order to kill the enemy but other than that that's it for the video guys i hope you found this useful make sure to subscribe for future legendary item guides on my channel and yeah, see you in the next video.